thank you for joining me. I'm outside the ferry terminal, Birkenhead. Um, we're not getting a ferry. We're going to pretend we're in Portugal and go on this ex-Lisbon tram up to Birkenhead Transport Museum. So it's going to be really quite fun. Oh, and behind me, that's a U-boat. And if we pan right round again, that tower is Birkenhead Hamilton Square Station. Anyway, I don't want to miss the tram, so I'm going to go and jump on. Liverpool Cooperation Tramways number 762 has just arrived. I'm going to go back to Birkenhead on that, but first let's go in the Wirral Transport Museum. So the museum is all for the depot, so as you can see that's the doors into the tram. It looks like there are lights on to the cross. Um, let's go and have a look around. Thank you. So here we are, it is free to enter, it only costs £2 for a ride on the tram, so pretty good value for money. So let's go in through this turnstile and have a look around. So as we come in, there's a little tea room there, perhaps going to have a cup of tea later. There's a model railway up there, let's go and look at that. Thank you. Here we have a big double O gauge model railway. Always enjoy a model railway. There's a train coming, it's going there. See it passes at 9F. You can see 9F just coming about to go out of the tunnel. Coming the other way, I can see a Brighton Bell unit now they're restoring one of them so we will soon be able to enjoy one on the main line in the south end of the What I'll do, I'll take some shots without me talking of the model railway so you can see it, just the trains so uh, I'll have a look around the rest of the museum. I'm not going to show you everything because I think it's partly nice for you to come and discover yourself, but I'm just going to give you a little whistle stop tour. So, Transit Museum, it's got most types of transport, it's got motorbikes. Uh, I think if we come here, yep, yeah, we're at the end of the model railway again. Might as well let you see that 9F past again. And we saw the Brighton Bell again. Let's just go and have a wander around the rest of the museum. Um, and like I said, I'll take some more shots without me talking of the model rail. So we go up here and we're coming to a viewing gallery over the tramway workshops, which is pretty cool. So here we are. We can see, I'm not sure of every tram where it's come from, but I can point out a couple of notable ones. The one down that end is Wallace Corporation Trams. Now this one here, and this one here, something quite interesting about these, because these are the same trams as they run in Hong Kong currently, every day in Hong Kong, but two were built. I'm not quite sure how it happened, whether they, this tramway museum bought them, or they were uh, built specially for the museum, maybe they were donated. But these are actually, these two are modern trams. These are what would be considered the newest double-decker trams 
in operation anywhere in the UK. So they're not heritage trams, they are genuine modern Birkenhead trams. So I'll have to come back and have a ride. I'm going to get, came on the Lisbon tram, I'm going to go back on the um, one we just saw outside, Liverpool Cooperation tram. I'll have to come and have a go on these. Let's have a look here. It looks like we can go upstairs on this bus. Just go upstairs. Just going to have a look inside. Thank you. Going upstairs on the bus. Cool. Always enjoy going on a bus. I'm not going to go anywhere, but let's use this to see the rest of the museum. So, as you can see, there are quite a lot of buses. I don't know too much about buses. I like them. I'm not a bus spotter. Um, I like vintage buses, but as you know, I probably, I certainly do prefer trains and trams, but still, it's great to see them preserved. Let's have a look out the back window, get a view of the tram, the trams from up high. Right, let's go back downstairs again. There's a model of a steam locomotive. More tram models. Always happy to see Morris Traveller. So that's the bus we were sitting upstairs on a moment ago. I feel like I'm walking around the depot of on the buses. <laughs> it's a bit like that. More buses everywhere. There's a Triumph. Some tram models so really I can't recommend this museum enough so come if you're in Liverpool come over on the ferry or on the train and come have a look Listen, I really like that picture That's, to me that is an ideal world trams everywhere if you look down here that's kind of like maybe that's a proposed heritage tramway so if you look down there there's modern trams maybe it's Blackpool because you can see Blackpool in the distance but I really, I really like that drawing, I never drew that and some more drawings here of a modern tram that might have been the best. Um, so yeah, it's a, there's some old penny arcades there, arcade machines. Right, let's go and see the trams. Thank you. So, what's this? This Birkenhead Park. It says. I'm not sure. I think this might be a Liverpool tram, but I'm not entirely sure. If anyone knows and wants to comment, then do. It's a real shame Liverpool doesn't have a big tram network like certain other cities. Um, but at least it's got some trams. Here's one of those Hong Kong trams, Birkenhead Tramway. Corporation tramways and just ahead is the Wallasey tram. In a minute, if we go around here, we'll come back to where we started, so we'd have kind of gone full circle around the museum. Thank you. So, if I stand here, you get another good view of the trams and the tram depot. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. If you're in Liverpool, then do come and see the, the transport museum.
Have you got the... 